<laughs> yes, we've got a very friendly little elephant walking towards us. He's so close. Hello. I'm just not going to move too much because I don't want to disturb this elephant. Are you very curious? How great is that? So close. And all on his own? Oh, I knew that you were going to do that. I knew you couldn't resist us, could you? A little Ellie. <laughs> My new friend, everybody. What shall we call him? I don't know who we're, what we're going to call this elephant. But this is great. You are a very friendly little girl. Thank you. No, now she's running. <laughs> <laughs> That was funny. I thought that that was a bit too good to be true, having a sighting like that. Like I said, that little girl was all on her own. There was just a couple of other youngsters, but they're still further off into the bushes. So the fact that she was able to come and walk right close up down that animal pathway, which you can see, and all the way towards us and not be bothered at all. You know what? That's why they're my favorite animal. I, I literally could have reached out and touched that little girl. I'm not going to touch them. They're wild, of course. But that just shows you the amazing relationship that they have. Not even a little bit scared. Here comes another one. Maybe we're going to have the same thing happen. I'm actually going to turn in my seat and watch as the elephants approach. Let's see. Yes, I think we're going to have the same thing happen, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Are you feeling good, Sebastian? Yep. Are you ready? Here it comes. Now, I'm not sure what the response of this one's going to be. This looks like it's my, are you a young girl too? Now, the young females always give me a, always rev me a little bit. I don't know why, whether it's just because they're going through that stage of their life where their hormones are all changing. But she's coming right here again. I'm actually just gonna sit very quietly as she comes past us. Hello. Well, I'm going to say hello to her. You're very curious, aren't you? It's okay. No, no, relax. Relax, girl. Yeah, she's very curious. So I'm not going to shout at her. She's not being aggressive in any way. She's just curious. I think maybe first time being, not maybe first time being around the car by herself, but they don't often get much time to investigate. Hello, you, off you go again. And there she goes. Happily just having a look. There's some more coming behind us. Let me reposition. What I'll do is if I just put my right hand down, you'll see there's another elephant just here, an older elephant, coming also right towards us, just down on the road. So it's amazing. It seems as though the adults have got the morning off and babysitting, and the older siblings have just taken on the role of looking after the youngsters today. That's beautiful. Look at those incredible feet. Look how gentle they are when they walk to just every now and then, occasion, occasionally kicking up some sand. Hello. What are you going to do? You're not coming over to say hello, are you? Oh, well, maybe. Another young female, or older than the ones we saw. It's okay. Come and say hello. Very curious. See how she's playing with her trunk on the ground now, sort of pretending like she's doing something else, but in the meantime... She's really focused most of her attention on us. See that? That's the displacement behavior that we often talk about that bulls do. But of course, it's not uncommon for other e female elephants to do it too. She is so close. Hello. Look at this. <gasps> this is beautiful. It's okay, young lady. You can shake your head. I know that you don't mean much. Now, Mita, you, <laughs> you said that this elephant wants to meet me. She does. I wish I could have stuck my arm out and shook her trunk. I think that that would be the most polite way to, to greet an elephant or perhaps to bow or curtsy. I would not know how to meet the giants of Africa. How would you greet a giant of Africa? Hey, Sebastian, do you think, I feel like they're royalty. I, don't, I feel like I may need to curtsy in front of them and then perhaps present That's them sure. with a marula okay. fruit. Yes, Look, exactly. she's coming back again. <laughs> I know that you didn't finish. I can see that you're just pretending to feed. Now, elephant bulls are really the kings at uh, performing this displacement behavior. Uh, like exactly what she's doing. It looks like she's da looking down on the grass. She's now going to pull a piece, piece of grass up. Now, she can very easily rip that grass out. Yes, now eats. Now she's starting to settle down again. But typically what the big bulls will do is they'll pull up a piece of uh, grass or maybe a branch and they put it in their mouth and then it drops to the floor. So they're not actually feeding, but they're making you think that they are feeding. And then they sneak up ever so closely. 
And before you know it, they're standing right over your car, towering you with their big tusks and their big ears. But not this girl. I think she's just a little bit on the inquisitive side. But what a fantastic morning this has actually turned out to be. <laughs> yes, fight that grass. And that's a good spot there. I think she's going to probably feed there for quite some time. The grass is still nice and green. Look at it. It's got that tinge to it. It hasn't got that golden golden look to it. Mary, you said that maybe she's just putting on a show. I, well, just acting. I think so. A little bit of a prima donna, maybe. <laughs> But that's fine. She's settled now and she's decided to hang around us. So I'm very happy with that. Oh, no, William. Now this makes me sad. You said, do elephants have bullies like I have at school? That makes me so sad to hear that, William. I hope that nobody is bullying you. Otherwise, you tell them that you've got big friends like the elephants in South Africa and they'll sort them out very, very quickly. I think definitely. So, William, what happens? I don't know if you actually know this. But we're looking at the, the female elephant, the girl elephant here. Now, the boy elephants, the males, when they start to get a little bit older, when they reach about 15 years old, so if they were in high school, they start to get a little bit naughty and they get a little bit rough and aggressive and they start to push and shove each other around like you and your friends play but they get too rough it's not fun and it's not a game anymore and all the moms get very cross because the bigger elephants the uh, the older boys will start pushing around the younger boys or pushing around the girls and they don't like it so they will shout and say hey leave me alone and they don't listen and they carry on and then eventually the moms have to come in and sort the problem out and eventually that leads to them being chased out of the herds completely and then they have to go and live on their own so that's what happens to the bullies with the elephants is that when they do start causing all that nonsense they have to leave the family so we don't want that to happen right these elephants have now moved off into the drainage line some